I'm hopping on today to talk to you about how to use your iPhone to be more productive and walk you through seven simple steps to clean up your digital life. I find that these are super helpful and practical for me. I learned them recently and it's gonna apply whether you're using an Android or another different smartphone as well. So take some notes because this is gonna save you time and time saves you money and honestly just makes your life a lot more peaceful as you're doing it, right? So seven simple steps for cleaning up your digital life. All right, uh, if you don't know me well, Steph Parisi, and I really love just providing helpful tips and so that's what I'm gonna do today. If you're watching and you find this helpful, don't hesitate to share it out. If you have a teammate that you think it would benefit, tag them if you're in business. So let's get real. Our phones are an incredibly powerful tool, but the note there is they're a great tool, right? Like I don't necessarily look at my phone as just my toy. Um, and I'd probably say it's the most powerful tool that I own in the 21st century right now. But is it controlling me or do I control it? Okay, that's a great question to think about. Maybe you've seen all the hype about the Marie Kondo, like tidying up Netflix series. Let's be honest, who doesn't want to like clean up their life? There's, I know like I have tons of old clothes, magazines, old baby stuff, all these different things lying around and like getting rid of it feels so good. And it's the same thing digitally y'all, okay? So, and there's probably like, I bet you there's apps on your phone that you have never even used. So seven steps to help you clean up your phone and make you more productive. And I got to credit Brock Johnson for some of these tips. And then I added my own flair on to as well. All right. So what's step number one? Delete any unused apps. Okay. So if you haven't ever used it, if you rarely use it, or this is the most important one, but the hardest, if you use it all the time, but it's not productive, okay? So I honestly can't even tell you like the names of like games that are out there today, but if you're using it all the time and it's not productive and you're just using it to kill time, all I would tell you a little bit of tough love here is the time that you're using to kill time on your phone is when I'm crushing time on my phone. And that's how I'm earning four digit paycheck a month and extra sweet rewards like a MacBook Pro and Apple AirPods and things like that, okay? So don't kill time, crush your time, right? So delete any unused apps or the apps that you're most in love with but are totally pointless, okay? It'll save you a lot more time, you'll be more productive. All right, so once you've deleted all the apps that you never use on your phone, now move on to step two. And that is put the apps that you rarely use, say like once a month, that type of thing, into folders. There's some apps that are on your phone that may come with your phone that you can't even delete that you never use. So you definitely wanna move those into a folder, okay? So to move an app on your phone, if you don't know already, you're gonna push down and like, hold on the app and it's gonna start wiggling, okay? If you wanna delete it, you push the little X. If you wanna move it, you just hold on it and you like move it around, okay? If you wanna move it into a folder, okay, what you do is you push down on the app and it's wiggling and then you're gonna drag it and you're gonna hold it directly over another app on your phone and it's gonna put those two apps in the folder. And those folders have names and you can even rename them, okay? So it makes it super simple from an organization standpoint. So for the folders that I have, I don't ever put more than nine apps in a folder and that's because otherwise I'd have to swipe left or right to see, okay? And the whole idea is to save time, okay? We need to take away less swiping, less moving. What you need is accessible immediately. So, and you really don't need more than like nine apps per category anyways. Like I do a lot of photo stuff, but like if I'm adding text or cropping or a filter or something like that, like I do that with like about four or five apps on my phone, okay? All right, so now that you've moved apps that you rarely use into folders, step three. Okay, and that is your four most frequently used apps are at the bottom, okay? And those move from whatever screen you're on. So as you're scrolling, those four apps are gonna stay the same, right? You wanna use, you wanna put there your most four used apps, 
okay? iPhone apps. So we're gonna do, and where I say iPhone apps because we're gonna do something different with your like social media apps, okay? So on the bottom, the four that I've selected is Messages, Pandora, Safari, and Camera, okay? So those are the four that I have on my bottom that go with me wherever I'm like, whatever page I'm on on my phone. And I use Pandora versus iTunes for my music, so that's why it's on the bottom, like I've moved iTunes out. Because why have iTunes on the bottom if you're never using iTunes, right? Like this starting to make sense? Okay, so once you've got the four most, I, like four most used iPhone apps at the bottom and you move the other ones out, we're gonna move on to step four. So, Drop a two in the comments if you've never, like what I was talking about in step four, if you've never changed those up before. I'm just curious if you're, be willing to admit it. It's totally okay. All right, so step number four is to move, like especially if you're working a business, move all of your social media apps to the first home page, okay? And by home page, I'm talking the one furthest to the left, right? So things like Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, all those home page. And then step number five is to move the ones that you don't use as frequently to page number two, okay? So on page number one, there won't be a lot of apps. That's really good, woohoo, okay? Like you want free space on your phone because you want your eyes to easily and directly go to what you wanna use, okay? Where you're gonna be spending most of your time. So on my page number one, I don't have a lot. I have like phone, Messenger, Facebook, my photos, notes, and I think mail, okay? And then page two is full of different little folders or categories, okay? But again, to a lesser frequency, not a lot, because you've deleted a lot, right? All right, so most important apps, page one. Page two, lesser important apps. And some examples of lesser important apps would be things like settings or maybe calculator. Um, you're using them, but you don't need them all the time, um, that type of stuff. All right, step number six, notifications. Okay, so do you mess, drop a yes or no, do you mess around with your notifications, okay? I think this is huge for you controlling your phone, not your phone controlling you. So. Turn off all app notifications that aren't critical, okay? So the only app notifications I have on are phone, messenger, and FaceTime, okay? I've turned off Facebook, messenger, mail, everything, because I have set times throughout the day that I'm going to check my mail or Facebook or things like that, right? Like I'm dictating when I go and respond to things, right? Not my phone, pretty important. Um, and if you don't know how to turn or manage your notifications, you're gonna go to your settings button, button on your phone and then hit the notifications button and there you can go through all your apps and turn them on or off each individually. Okay, I hope this is helpful. If it is, drop me a heart. All right, and then last but not least, step number seven to help you clean up your phone and be more productive is to not have a messy screen saver. Okay, so I get it, like I'm a mom, I love Xavier, I love my husband, but like your screensaver, you really wanna think minimalist, okay? The less colors, the better. The less action going on, the better. Um, if you really need your, your family, I would say make it maybe your like uh, lock screen photo, okay? And then make something simpler, your home screen photo. And you wanna avoid text and generally just like the less action going on, the better. And I am like speaking to the choir when I say this because until I like listened to this training and made these changes myself, I had a picture of me and Jack on my phone that I'd had on my like home screen since like tw like 2010. Um, and so holding on to some nostalgia there, but I finally switched it up and man, every time I pick up my phone now, it is almost like this sense of calm because I see this picture and it's a landscape picture and I have two different ones for my home screen and my lock screen and both of them are very in line with my vision and my goals 
and what I want for my family, right? So like literally every time I'm hitting unlock and I go to that screen, like I'm unlocking this vision that I have for our future, okay? Pretty powerful there. But I'm doing that knowing that it's purposeful like to work, right? Not just like screw around and waste my time. So, um, and it's just like I said, some simple landscape stuff. So having a minimalist picture on your home screen is gonna allow your eyes to naturally focus in on where they're supposed to be in the first place, right? Like whatever app you're moving to, okay? And the best analogy I have for this is uh, think like when you sit down to get work done, or maybe you're a student and you're studying. Typically, my best work is done when I'm in an environment that is conducive to it, when it's not messy, loud, crazy, there's not dishes everywhere, and it's like just toys everywhere. Now, granted, I work a lot of times in those environments because I have to, because like Xavier goes down for a nap and I have an hour to be productive. But with that said, if you can take 10 minutes out of your day and make your phone a more suitable workplace for you, it's gonna really affect the work that you produce. Okay, so that's all I got for you guys. Seven simple steps to clean up your digital life. I hope you found this helpful. Like I said, feel free to share it, tag someone you think this would benefit, and I'll catch you guys later.